Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the Python programming language. So I'm explaining the basic concepts of the Python, Python programming language. Before starting the programs, try to learn the concept. So this is one of the uh, added feature for you uh, if you know the concept also. So in, uh, while you're going to the interviews or if you want to uh, starting anything. So if anybody asks what is this Python, try to learn the basic concepts and then go with the further applications okay so now let's have a look on the features of the python uh, first feature is let me talk uh, explain you about the readable i said the python is a python programming language is a readable so that means it is easy readable language whatever the statements that are writing uh, in the python language that statements are readable easy to understand easy to read and next is easy to learn next feature is easy to learn so what it means it is easy to understand and easy to learn and it is an expressive and a high level programming language why it is very easy to understand because it is express everything you are going to express language is in an expressive manner and we are using uh, a high level programming language to write the python code and the next feature cross pl platform cross platform so what is this cross platform so this is one of the most important feature for the python uh, we call python language as a cross platform it can that means it can runs on various operating systems it can run on various operating systems so like uh, like mac or like windows windows operating system linux unix and many more okay so it can run on various operating systems like mac windows linux unix uh, this makes it a cross platform and portable language so that means the python language is a cross platform as well as, well as portable language the next feature is open source very good it is an open source programming language that means the uh, it is an open source uh, a language that whatever we are reading you can easily download you can easily see the source code of that program so that's why we call the uh, open source the python you can view the source code also and the next feature is uh, language standard sorry large standard library so this is one of the important feature of the python that's why everyone is using the python language because of this feature it supports a large standard library functions means it comes with the large standard libraries that has some handy codes okay which consisting of some handy codes handy codes means already the program uh, functions are uh, built in in the library functions so you just need to call that function and you can execute the program without writing the code so which is th this is one of the added advantage feature of the python large standard library that means it comes with the large standard libraries that has some handy codes and functions and functions which we can use while writing code in the python and the next feature next feature is free 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 that means you can download and use it free no need to pay anything for this uh, programming language. It can easily available in, in the internet. You can just click on download the Python programming language. So how, how to download and how to install. I already explained you just use that source information to uh, install the Python language uh, programming language so Python software in your system. Okay. So it is a free download and you can use it. And the next feature is uh, supports exceptional handling supports exception handling so the python language is supports the exceptional handling it means we can write less error prone codes we can write less error prone error prone code and can test various scenarios that can cause 
and exceptions later on so just like in the java whatever the exceptions that you are using try catch so that same exceptions you are here also uh, we can use in the python language and the next feature is uh, advanced features it can the python language is having some advanced features can you tell what is our, what are those advanced features i'll tell you the main advantage advanced feature is it supports machine learning and deep learning libraries machine learning and deep learning life you will get a doubt madam whatever the programming language that we are using c++ java they won't support the machine learning it can support it can support but it is very difficult to write the program uh, in by using the java to implement the machine learning it means artificial intelligence it's very difficult why because because it doesn't have uh, that much of the standard library functions so for everything everything you need to write only some limited library functions will be there and for other things you have to write the code for every concept every function you need to write but in the python language already some large standard library functions are there you can easily call that functions and you can execute the program so there is no need of writing much code much code and understanding the code is very easy when compared to the java the python language is very easy when com uh, understanding of understanding the code okay and next feature is automatic memory management it is the python language is having one of the mo uh, best feature that is the automatic memory management what it mean what is the meaning of this automatic memory management that means it supports automatic what is this uh, python the python programming language supports the automatic memory management that is the memory is cleared and freed automatically memory is cleared and freed automatically so there is no need to we have to remove and we have it's automatically whenever the data is whenever the execution part is over it's automatically it clears the memory and freed it you do not have to bother clearing the memory automatically it is going to be cleared so these are all the features of the python programming language so just have a have have a look on this video and try to understand what are the features okay then we will see the programs so in the next video i will explain what are the python basics that we are going to cover in this tutorial and we will see each and every concept with an examples the programs that i am going i will explain by executing on the screen and the concept i will write by, by using this pen and paper thank you